let's say let me take look at this guy so what is this bar chart let me try with bar chart even within a bar chart you have different different type of uh, representations of bar charts guys look at this so let's say let me take um, sub category okay sub category and i'm taking some measure okay let's say that is sales look at this sales okay look at this by default okay a bar chart has been enabled okay now let's say now i would like to okay now i would like to display the values over here and if you want you can swap the this one bar chart column chart see what kind of a chart it is it is a column chart and if you want to swap it this becomes a bar chart so there is a difference so bar chart column chart okay and to achieve this graph okay to achieve this graph what you need you need zero or more dimensions or one or measure that is compulsion okay zero or more dimension or one or more measure that is mandatory elements okay guys now within this uh, bar chart itself we have different different representations of charts also okay for example this is a horizontal okay chart or bar yeah horizontal or vertical or bar chart or column chart whatever you call it okay similarly look at this we do have stacked bars stacked bars so stacked bars are helpful to deal with uh, representations of a data in a single line itself okay for example now here we go see what is happening here okay now let me add one more measure for this for example let's say let me add quantity okay look at this what happened so different different notations of a data is happening here within the same okay bar the different different representations look at this okay accessories okay such kind of a stuff right guys right isn't it now if you want you can deal with the sub category colors here okay. and sub category values labels or what not see look at this So this is the way. Okay. So what what is happening? The whole bar is showing it in a same same. The whole information is showing it in a different different. Uh, you know, highlighting of different different colors, which is showing in a single bar. Okay. This is what stacked bar. Okay, stacked bars. To deal with this, what what are the prerequisite elements you need? One or more dimensions, or else one more measure. One or more measures. Now let me add one more dimension. Let's say. Mm, region wise okay region wise look at this or else we can do one thing see region wise central east south west look at this okay look at this okay central west and this is the different different colors and you know how to change this colors and all right you already gone through this guys okay like this So this is what stacked bars. What is that? Stacked bars. Okay. Now, similarly, we do nothing but side by side bars. But the side by side bars will have. Look at this again. One or more dimension. One or more measure. Yes. Now look at this. Okay. See what happened here. Now, if I want to switch off this, switch on this. See. Have this kind of a stuff, and do you want to swap this? Yes. See, side by side. Okay, side by side. Now look at this. Instead of sub category, you may have it a category. Either way, it still we need those. See, okay. And do you want to show the value? See, look at this. Okay, this is what side by side. Okay, side by side bars. Okay, so. With these different different combinations, like you know, horizontal, vertical bar. Okay. Stacked bars and side by side bar bars. You can play around with this, guys. Okay, but 
for this what you need you need to have one or more dimension or one or more measure okay same stuff okay these are all comes up with the requirements basically but you should be in a position to justify that yes what sort of elements that is okay this is what bar chart so most of the times it is exclusively helpful to do the comparative data to do the comparative analysis okay